Hello, we'll be talking about dealing with emotions. My first question is, what is an emotion? Uh, I think emotion is a energy. It's kind of energy which runs through our body. It uh, originates from the mind and there are positive emotions, there are negative emotions. These are part of our construction. Everybody has negative emotions like, you know, anger, fear and... Uh, you know, greed. To, greed, attachment, these are all negative att- uh, emotions. We all have them, you know. Okay. And then we have positive emotions also, joy and enthusiasm and love and all this. You know. Exactly. Yeah. We have the positive emotions also. So, these are uh, located in the mind, uh, mm. as we understand from Ayurvedic perspective. And uh, maybe in the subconscious mind also, this also... And uh, there we have also some experiences that are stored in our subconscious mind. Right. So depending on uh, what we have experienced in the past, sometimes we develop these emotions. Okay, so they so arise. Maybe, yeah, maybe I have some bad experiences in the childhood. You know, I was traumatized or I had some, I was closed in a closet. So I, I that triggers my negative emotions, you know. Mm. And if I received a lot of love and support and I was taken very well, nice care, mm then my positive emotions will be more stronger. Uh, that's why in Ayurveda, we talk of this um, importance of pregnancy even. Mm. Pregnancy, during pregnancy, you know, how the mother, what is the emotional state of mother, you know, mm-hmm. that uh, affects the emotional state of the child also. And the first uh, three to five, five years of the child's life are very important. So that's when we should make sure that we put a lot of effort to provide that love and comfort and all that positivity to the child right. so that when he grows up and they find themselves in a situation yeah. because those are the situations that give arisal to an emotion yeah you you're in a new situation let's say mm-hmm. that confronts you yeah and the emotion comes yeah so the like the first one that may be uncontrolled mm-hmm. and it may be negative or positive yeah. right Mostly, again, it's negative, which is which is more common because uh, people people tend to be more negative than to be positive, you know. Hmm. And uh, sometimes it's a, it's a very normal situation, but they will become very irritated, very angry about it, you know, hmm. where there was no no reason for that, you know. Whereas we should understand that it's actually more uh, it takes more energy to confront uh, a negative emotion hmm. than uh, sorry to store it, you know. Okay. To store the negative emotion, you need more energy than to confront it. Hmm. If you want to confront it and just remove it, understand it, and hmm. take it away, it won't take that much energy. And because once you, you close have, the bad emotion in you, then yeah, you suffer yeah, for all Because you, you just keep it with you, and every day it drains your energy. You keep that pain in your, in your uh, mind or hmm. subconscious mind. Right. And then you have to every day fight it or, you know, work with it. And it takes a lot of energy from you. You say people tend to be more negative than positive. So yeah. what is like the, the actual cause of this? I think it's the environment around us, the way we have been living in this world, the, what we have been watching. We have, like we have been watching maybe some movies where there's a lot of anger expressed and not so many movies where there is maybe a lot of love expressed. Our childhood especially is very important. Uh, in Ayurveda, we also believe it comes from previous life also. Mm-hmm. From previous life, there are some experiences stored in our subconscious mind. They also uh, make an impact. And of course, then our family, our friends, our environment is a big uh, reason for that, you know. Because mm. at the end, nobody wants to be negative. Yeah, nobody nobody, negative. nobody wants to be negative. But again, like the way we, we associate with people, the way we associate with environment, the way we, we live here... Uh, it is the negative emotions that they become more strong, you know, anger, greed, you know, attachment. Or maybe we can say that we are actually living in a kind of situation where this is more powerful or mm. unknowingly or unknowingly. Maybe maybe mm. we don't know this. We, we think this is the right thing. We, we, so we, we, how to find the power to overcome the negativity. Intellect, you know, that's very important. We oh. talk in Ayurveda about the intelligence, developing the intelligence or using the intelligence in the right way. Pragya, we call it pragya. Mm. But again, uh, or let, let's make it more simple. So we talk about sattva. Mm. More sattva, more clarity. So then you can understand a situation in a very nice way. Mm. And you can then react in a positive way or in a negative way. Express a negative emotion or a positive emotion. Sometimes, uh, as I said, that anger and greed and this, this is part of us. You know. yeah. But 
when you have more sattva so you can express your anger also positively means treat it as a means potential like, yeah means like you can be angry at the pollution in the world for example and start doing something to clean right. clean the world or you know help the people who are you know suffering from some kind of you know that uh, environmental like global mm-hmm. warming for example there are a lot of people maybe who are angry about it why mm-hmm. we are uh, creating this uh, pollution in the but there are many people who start working right and not being like negative about it and they express this anger in right. a positive way and that that makes them feel happy push the energy of anger into desire of actually making something yes, making working something, right? which is good actually mm. so that will uh, not take that much of your energy it means it will not make you sad it will not make your immunity low rather you will be doing something and every day when you will achieve something you will feel happy mm-hmm. so that uh, the joy the positive emotion will become more powerful joy, that, yeah. Yeah. so in ayurveda we we do talk about such things there are also very interesting subjects like uh, if you want to release negative emotions walk on the green grass mm. or go to a forest or walk on the beach or uh, have some hot water put some salt in that or put your feet they say that negative emotions they go out They're of your feet, feet. <laughs> so you can walk on green grass so that and, home on yeah. outside home remedy yeah, seems yeah, to be yeah. good and balancing and massage your emotion. feet and do some oil massage on the body and okay. you know meditate and breathe and do some yoga so it's again about yeah. taking it easy yeah thank you